Hello guys, we finally made it to Napoli. We had a very, very early morning flight from Venice and we arrived here. We had breakfast and walked a bit around the city. You can see that everything is decorated because today is a very, very important match here in Napoli. So it's kind of cool that we came just on this day. We didn't know actually when we booked that we will be here when it's the game. Also, it's very, very crowded, but it's fine. It's better this way. The only bad thing is that it's going to be raining in the next three days that we are here and that's very very unlucky because even the owner of this airbnb told us that it never rains in napoli and the whole point is sun and sea and everything but hopefully still we will have a nice time anyways enjoy with us and i will take you with me everywhere as always After resting for a bit, we took a walk around the historical city center. It was so cool to see how locals are crazy about football. So we just kind of got lost in this vibe. Today we decided to try pizza frita, which is basically fried pizza. It was good, but we're still patiently waiting for the real Napolitan pizza that everyone is talking about. And here it is our second day. We started with some pastry and coffee, of course. We took a walk through Spanish quarters where you can find many murals and posters of famous football players, mostly Diego Maradona, of course, but as well the ones that play in the current team. I'm telling you, City is very football oriented, especially now during this big league. It was very, very fun to experience this as well. Continuing walk through the gallery Umberto I, we kind of needed some food again. So today on the menu is Pizza Portafoglio meaning wallet pizza because it's folded as you can see and it was really really amazing me and my friends even agreed it's one of the best things we ate on this trip so i really recommend trying this in naples then we went to visit royal palace and as architecture students we just got the free entrance i don't have even what to say about this place just keep watching it's really breathtaking and definitely something you should keep on your list if you're visiting napoli After a little walk by the coast, we went to the hill to see the view of the whole city, even though it was super windy and cold. And yeah, it was cloudy and even rainy at some point, but still the view was amazing. The last day here we spent going around cathedrals, buying souvenirs and admiring the local life. To me it seems that Napolitans look very happy even though not everything is in order in the city. But there is still the vibe of home and happiness between people. I don't know how to explain it but you just have to feel it.
Since it started raining for the 15th time during these three days, we went to see Van Gogh's immersive experience in one of the churches, and it was actually pretty nice and calming. As well, we wanted to visit other museums, but they were either closed or fully booked. I know most people go to Pompeii as well. I visited a few years ago, so my friends were about to go today but it was closed so they figured it out on the way and just came back so that's why we just walked around and did everything we could and yeah i mean it's better to leave something for the next time i visit We saved the best pizza for the end and it's the place where Julia Roberts came to eat in a movie Eat, Pray, Love. If you watched it, you'd know it, but we waited for an hour to get a table because it's a very famous place. I recommend to do the thing that we did, which is to sit in a bar across the street to wait because the line can be very long, but at the same time, numbers can switch fast so we just ran back basically whenever we saw our number on the screen and it was definitely worth it really really amazing pizza go visit this place Thank you so much for watching. We are currently at the airport heading back to Venice. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We really had a nice time and I will see you soon in my next video. Ciao!